self-respecting grindcore band needs a song that's less than 10 seconds. This one's ours. This one's called Swirl. I know I can wait longer than you! This one's uh, near and dear to my heart. This one's called Scabbage. You can find this on a compilation by Riot Ready Records out in L.A. Beating on, beating on, the past, the shit. 
game The misery Misery based on a book from the 80s by Don DeLillo. This one's called White Noise. I shall for the contingency! <laughs> This one's called Trees Walking. Near and dear to our hearts, the band. Um, we learned a lot from Dr. Richard Wolff. He's a leading Marxian economist out of the New School. Um, great guy, great content. And this next one is called Lone Wolf, based on all the things he teaches. So, shouts to Dr. Richard Wolff. <laughs> Make money, 
Shout out to Soraya. So excited that we were on last exit for the loss. This one's our last one. This one's called Squeeze. <laughs> To the dark night of the soul, emotional balance restored, self-limiting beliefs forsaken, cultivate the shadow self, spirituality made visceral. We have healed the religious wounds of a stifling upbringing. We have absolved ourselves of shame and of guilt. We have communed with the true ancestors. We have raised the great crossroads. We now see the third face of God. In defiance of binary gender, we are made whole and surrendered to the unity of synchronicity. And in life, outward reflection, the power of resonance. Like vibrates like. Like amplifies like in true greatness. And now in the studio, we have isosceles. Hello, guys. Hey. Hello there. Hello, hello. You make some noise. Yes, we do. It was pleasant noise. I enjoyed it. I appreciate that. Thank you so much. Where are you from? We are from Syracuse. All right. Introduce yourselves and what you do in the band. Okay. I am Lee Andrus. I play guitar and I do vocals. I'm Caleb. I do vocals. I'm Tim and I play drums. Okay. And how long has isosceles been a band? We've been around for four years, almost okay. to the day. This lineup? Uh, no, sir. Caleb oh. is new as of October. Okay. All right. Uh, is it always been three members? It's always been three members. We have, though, in the works, a bass player, so that's exciting. Does that mean you have to change your name? I was just about to say, Soraya, <laughs> don't ask me if I have to change my name now. I saw Sleep Square. Yeah. We, maybe we'll call it, like, Quadrilateral or something at that point. <laughs> I don't Not know. Sure. Saw Sleep Squared is nice. <laughs> We're going to lose their trademark. <laughs> Rhombus. <laughs> um, so... Did I ask you where you're from? You did. Okay, Syracuse, right? Syracuse. Okay. Yeah, um, yeah I totally lost track of what I've asked <laughs> and what I haven't. Uh, why us, Ossilies? As far as the band name or why the band? Both. Let's go with both. Those okay. Both like, good interpretations of that. Well, obviously, the obvious interpretation would be the three members. I saw Everyone knows Isosceles because of the triangle in right. math class. But the word itself is Greek for two equal legs. And I guess as a band... Um, ideologically, we're arguing for two equal legs economically because I don't think we see that going on in our current economic system. So it's mm. kind of a uh, grindcore band that's... I want to adopt each and every mother effing one of you. Oh, wow. <laughs> so for all intents and purposes, you might hear the socialist Marxian stuff come right through. That's supposed to shine right through, so... Um, I want to marry go, each go, and every go, mother effing go, one of you. Go, go sit down. You go in the corner. So to finish my answer, isosceles meaning two equal legs. We're standing on unequal footing in this country economically. We need more socialist values. We need more Marxian values. So we're arguing for that with our band. 
Okay. And is that pretty much the lyrics for most of the songs? Basically, yeah. Are there songs that aren't about that? Um, There are some songs about specific books we've read as a band because we're dorks and I like ripping off Orchid. And if I can get away with <laughs> screaming certain philosophers' last names, I'm going to do it. Nice. So nice. that's just, the, and again, like, I mean, not to take over so much, but um, as the lead singer, or the singer and the guitar player kind of controlling what goes on, like, it's important to embody the music you want to hear. So that's the other point of this band is like, okay, guys, we have these things we want to scream about, but can we put it to music we can jam to? So that's like the hence the early '90s hardcore kind of power violence mm -hmm, mm -hmm. sound we stick with. So and how did this start? Um, just as a goof, like I've known Tim for 15 years now. I went to college with him. We were in a reggae band 10 <laughs> years ago. Yeah. So like it's been a um. A labor of love and a process for both of us musically because we so, kind of broke away and then came back together to sort of learn how to write songs together I guess and um, also be like a cathartic outlet essentially that's how it started for me nice yeah. and uh, as far as releases what do you have out um, a lot of stuff on Bandcamp right now digitally um, we did do a limited edition tape and I do make like one-off CDs for people when they ask for them but mm -hmm. we have nothing um, professionally recorded as of yet. So. Okay. All right. Well, this should sound pretty good for you. Sick. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, well, I don't need to ask you about your lyrics. It's that sure. was all kind of bundled together. Yeah, sure. And like I said, like some songs are specifically like based on certain scholars or certain writers. Like there's an Edward Abbey song. Like I spoke on the radio. There's the Richard Wolf song. Um, there's a song called The City, which is kind of about Syracuse. But I love the fact that we're playing it today here in Ithaca because there's so much. Whole, like university college like where does the campus start and where does the city mm. end kind of style so yeah. that's yeah. what it's like to live yeah. in Syracuse and I'm sure that's what it's like to live here because of the two colleges or I think right more, yeah two, more than yep. two it's just two yeah okay so um how about musically how does that come together um like our influences like yeah well influences and how do you write the songs songs usually start honestly with the lyrics and a drum part on my end and then I put the riff on top of that some mm. songs do start with a drum, like the drum part, like Hardy Grease, for instance, that was like that, the roll for Tim, like that, basically that generated the whole song. I remember hearing that and being like, okay, cool. Now I can rip off heavy, heavy, low, low in this song. So it's like, that's kind of how I approach it <laughs> riff wise. I'm like, okay, cool. I'm going to rip off Graf Orlock. Okay, cool. I'm going to rip off Rage Against the Machine. I'm going to rip off the Chariot. <laughs> so that's kind of my, that's where I get my, uh. That's my process right there. Well, it's, like, not, it's not a ripoff if you're getting inspired borrowing. about it yeah. and then using it differently. That's not ripping them off. Exactly. Writing the same song is ripping them off. But <laughs> I but I am conscious of it. Like I will if someone says, Man, you guys are good or whatever, but you're derivative, I will be like, Yeah, you're right. Like I won't I won't deny that right, at all. Right. So And if you have enough things that you're influenced by, it creates something new. I mean sure. everyone mm -hmm. borrows from other things. Yeah. Sure. yeah. Sure. Oh, United I, Nations. United Nations was a huge band for Timmy and I. Yep. Getting over that hump and showing him some heavy music that was like, wow, this is absolutely compelling. And that band is a super band hearkening back to an earlier era. So, hmm. Okay. Um, do you have, do you play a lot of shows? Um, we play like probably like one show a month. It's been spotty. Like the first couple years, it was like one show every couple months, but it's been more regular now. Okay. So and how, how far out of the Syracuse area have you gotten? The farthest we've played is Binghamton. Okay. So, all right. Was that like one of the grind fests, or it was just a AVD show that okay. was set up by a fellow band, a band actually we've played with twice, LMI from Lansdale, Pennsylvania. Great guys. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah. Um, do you have anything coming up? Uh, we have one booked in town. We have one at the Chanty. I think um, Fidget's opening for us. Oh, I think she's on that. It's April thirtieth. April thirtieth. Food pill show. Food pill. Yeah, she's Jay not Jason, sure. Jason, she, might, <laughs> she, she should check her phone or something. Because, yeah, Astro Land's book that. Um, super excited to be playing for Jason and Kenny because we've known those guys for a while. So, hers. Yeah, hers. Hers. Yeah, yeah. hers. So, nice. Yeah, so we're excited. That's, like I said, April 30th at the Chanty. Okay, right here in so, downtown Ithaca. Yes. All right. And what? where, where do you hope to go from here? Um, honestly, it just we're – it's the slow going like we enjoy the process so if we can make shirts in the next six months or play more shows out of town that's what we're about we're about honestly having fun as angry and as serious as the material might be that's like our main objective is just to play other places play different places and play as much as we can so All right. hopefully we'll you know throw some money down and get into a studio within right, the right. year but yeah 
Where um, where can people find you? What's the best place to follow you online? Um, Bandcamp has all the material, but also uh, Facebook is isosceles315. And we're on Instagram, too, if you mess with that. I, same thing, okay. isosceles315. What do you update the most? Um, probably the Instagram, to be honest. Yeah, a lot of people do. Yeah. So. It's become very popular. Yeah, it's just it's quick and easy and like yeah, and I've fa- I've found within the last year and a half that I've booked a lot of shows through Instagram, so that's been very nice. helpful. And is that just isosceles or isosceles three one five? It's isosceles three one five. Okay, and the uh, Bandcamp is that's isosceles three one five too. Okay, at good. Yeah. Com. Yep. <laughs> All right. I'll keep it consistent. That way, Lee. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Anything else you want people to know? Um. No, just, I guess, yeah, fight the good fight. Like, that's why we're doing this. We're having fun playing this music, albeit it's very earnest and aggressive delivery. But this is why we play this music is because this is music we want to hear. All right. That's the best reason to do it. Exactly. (laughs) And I would love to have you back sometime. We would love that. Thank you so much. With our bass player. Yeah, there you go. (laughs) And uh, how often do you write songs? Um, It just kind of comes and goes. I think we've resur- we resurrected a song we played today it was basically the second time we played it live in its new form. But mm-hmm. every couple months it would kind of like go through an editing process or rehashing stuff. So you did twelve tonight? We I think we did thirteen tonight. Thirteen? And how many do you have total? Um thirteen. Fourteen. Fourteen. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah. Fourteen. So, fourteen. So you played Maybe almost 15. everything. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well when you get some more stuff written and your bass player tuned in, yeah. you're welcome to come back. Awesome. awesome. Love to have you. Thank you. All right. Prong.